former army staff officer said he willingly joined a plot of a true the former government of the former uh, Jammeh government in 2006 because he thought Gambia was in a desperate situation. Dambo, is an army captain at the time, told the Truth Commission on Wednesday that he joined the Army Chief of Defense Staff, Colonel Dooley Charm's plot to help rescue the Gambia by ousting President Yahya Jame. Let's have more of that in this report. The coup attempt failed and dozens of people, including soldiers and civilians, suffered severe consequences that involved detention, torture and jail time. One of those who faced torture in the hands of Jame's death squad was Major Yaya Dabo, who was an army captain in 2006. Dabo was to be responsible for distributing arms to soldiers and to take control of the Gambia's only airport. But the plan failed when a plane carrying Yaya Jame landed at the airport after the airspace was closed. Dabo was arrested from his home and locked up at Mile 2, the country's central prison, and faced torture at the headquarters of the National Intelligence Agency. He said he was forced to write a statement and had to change it several times to align with other made-up statements by his fellow coupies. I just had a knock on my left eye, very stick. And I fell immediately on my stomach. And I told him, You've broken my eye. And Musa rushed up. Hey, wait, wait, wait. He said, Please, please, sit down, sit down. Sit down. I start down. And my this eye closed. All over. Major Dabo will have to go through a second torture session at the National Intelligence Agency on March 23, 2006, two days after the first torture session. This torture session include a severe beating with sticks, putting off lit cigarette butts on victims' body, and let burning nylon droplets onto your body. After that initial beating, how they just stay what they call the burial party? Uh, uh, where you have these uh, coconut palms or trees will be used, palms will be used. They will cut, they will trim it. Then three of them or four. Then you lie down flat. Then they will beat you with that till it can't use to beat you again, broken down completely. It cannot be used to, to beat you anymore. Now they tell us to move to the charity house. And that place, on that place, you also have to roll. Yeah, that's why I roll in this. Uh, Korea will take this plus a uh, Rambo. Uh, Jaju will take these wire coils. Stand over you. Then beating you as you are rolling till the faster you reach that place. The faster you reach there, the lesser pain you get. At that place, they will take cement blocks. Put it on you. You know, sat on it. You start there smoking, they are jammed, they are cigarettes. Whatever you can remember to touch your individual, you can do it. You sold a cigarette on your body. Like mine was done by uh, Korea, the lit a nylon, nylon plastic bag. Like the former adjutant said he was also put in a bag and hanged on a crane. Then the controller would let the rope loose free and he would fall on the ground while his torturers would be laughing at him. Major Yaya Dabo is a native of Badibusali, Kenya in the North Bank region. He received military training in Ghana, Senegal and Nigeria. He was a second lieutenant in 1996, full lieutenant in 2000, a captain from 2004 to the time he was arrested in 2006. Yaya Dabo was convicted on charges of counseling or procuring persons to commit mutiny, treason and conspiracy to commit treason. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. In 2017, Dabo was reinstated into the army and promoted to the rank of major.